you got to watch this. Because I got some things I want to show you. Make sure I've got some loaded on the brush. I'm going to wipe it off. Hello, everybody, and Happy New Year. 2021 just couldn't come fast enough for most of us. I am hoping and praying that everyone is safe, happy, and healthy, and that we can have a great year this year. Um, I want to start off with uh, something that I had worked on last fall, and that was the handwritten recipe that I was trying to clean up and be able to put on a canvas or something for my sister-in-law. Well, it was very time consuming and it was just not coming out as nice as it could. Now I did get two of them done and I gave them to my sister-in-laws for Christmas and they were thrilled. But I wanted to be able to make sure that I could get them to all my nieces and to my daughter. So I kept researching and researching and what I came across was an app that is called Procreate. And out of the clear blue, I received a notification from YouTube about the Procreate app and that some woman was working on a recipe. Yeah. I watched the video and holy cow, it made it so much simpler. What you actually do is take a photograph of uh, your image, whether it is a recipe, a sentiment from a card, or just a signature. I'm gonna show you how Procreate works with what I know. There is a million things. So you will open the Procreate app. You're gonna go up here to, um, my recipe cards were photos. I just taken photos of them. So I'm going to click photo and we're just gonna grab anything and bring it in. I'm just gonna grab that signature. Now, okay, now that we have our signature in here, we are going to create a layer on top of it so that we can do our drawing to make sure we can trace the signature well. And it's basically acting as like a tracing paper. So it's gonna protect this layer while we are creating another layer on top to work with. So let's see if we can do this. Get rid of that. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to choose what kind of a pen or, or a brush I wanna work with. What was suggested in the video, and I'm gonna stick with that for right now, was inking and technical pen, okay? So we're just gonna stick with that and we're going to go ahead and uh, trace a little bit of this. Now the nice thing is anything that you do that you don't like, you can actually delete. So let's say I just didn't like that I can delete it. I'm gonna make sure I'm on the right layer. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna do this one more time. And you can make your lettering as thick as you want. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what that looks like here. I'm going to erase the back part. A little not show. So there's the original signature. And I'm going to show the signature I had put on there. And I'm not sure that I like that. So I am probably going to erase that <clears throat> and do it again. Okay. So I'm on my second layer. So now I'm on my tracing paper, if you want to call it that. I'm just going to do this one more time. I'll make sure I'm doing this right. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm on my second layer. And I am 
sitting on my sofa right now, so it's a little bit hard to be accurate. Okay, so I'm done, and, and I know that it definitely doesn't look as good as it could. But I'm going to look at the layers panel again. I'm going to take off the real, the original layer, and now we're just showing our new signature. That's not bad. Let's put this one back up and take that one off. Not bad at all. Okay, the other thing that I did want to go over with you real quick was how to keep your lines smooth. So let's go back to the paintbrush. We're going to go down here to the technical pen and we're going to pull up the technical pen. See how high I have that streamline at? It's at 89%. If I turn that down and I make some marks on the pad here, see how rough that is? It's not, it's really not smooth at all. Okay. But as I raise the streamline, it gets very smooth. So, whoops. See how smooth that all is? So we keep our streamline pretty high so that we can make sure that everything that we're writing is smooth and not jerky. I don't know anything about the rest of this stuff. That is going to be some time later when I'll have time to play with that. But for now, I wanted to be able to show you that streamline so that all of your writing had a, a nice, smooth look to it. So once again, I'm going to turn off the background and I'm going to turn off the first layer. So here is what we end up with. So now what I can do is go back to the gallery and I am going to select this and I'm gonna share it as a JPEG. And it is being saved as an image, okay? So now, because I have it saved as an image, I'm going to be able to import that very easily into Cricut. I'm going to go down here to upload. I'm going to go to my library, my photo library. Here's what we just imported in. Now, we do know that as we're cleaning things up, when we first start, we're going to end up with this black box. But this is the box that's going to help us know that everything has been cleared on this. The first thing I want to do is remove the background. So I'm going to turn this area up and we're gonna click on it. Okay, so now we have everything done here. But if you look up here, you can see that we still have our background within the signature. So, I am going to turn down the dial here a little bit, and I'm going to click on, sometimes that happens, turn this down a little further. Okay, and inside of the Y. Okay. Inside of the L. And you can tell if it's working if you look up here. Let's get that in focus. You can tell at first, I wasn't quite sure if I got the Y out. And you can tell up there that it is now uh, hollow there. There's no background. So let's do the L. Did the L work? Yes, it did. Okay, we'll move over to the word Schultz. So now we have in here, here, and here. Come on, don't be a stickler here. Okay, so you can see I got that. Inside the H is probably gonna be a little tough one again here, but vigorize your screen. And it looks like that worked. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna do inside the L. And we'll 
look at that, and then we're going to try inside the Z. Okay, I'm going to come back up here and I'm going to look at the signature. <clears throat> L still has it's so hard when the opening is so tiny okay let's look down now okay All right, so everything looks good. So, um, one thing too, I forgot to mention, you can move your preview square around any of the four corners. So if you were working on something up here, let's say down here, because that's where it wanted to work, and we had, <clears throat> let's say we were in the midst of something like this. Well, you can't get to that letter, of course you can, move everything around but you can always move this okay so now that we're satisfied with that we're gonna click next here is what our signature looks like <clears throat> it does look like maybe the L did not come clean but we're gonna leave that alone right now so I'm gonna hit smooth and I'm just gonna see if we can make sure that this is the smoothest signature that we can get and I think that looks pretty good okay looks pretty good up here so I'm going to click next I'm going to save this as a cut image so I've got the check mark there and then we are going to click Save thank you okay so I've named it now I'm gonna click done and there it is that's the one we just did so in order to bring that into Design Space now, all I'm gonna do is click it. It will pop down here at the bottom and I'm gonna insert it. And there you go. Can you see the words in there? Over here. And I'm not sure where the placement of the signature, as a matter of fact, I'm just gonna cut the signature off because I have been putting it to the right. And we're gonna do the signature right now. So I'm gonna start in a corner and pull up the vinyl. Now, I'm gonna pull kind of at an angle, but I'm gonna stay very close with my fingers to the word. And the dot came up from her name. So I'm going to try and poke that back down. And there it is. I'm going to try and grab it, hold on to it. And I can reposition it. But... So once again, get very close to the lettering and just slowly peel back. Okay. Now, the L, I need to come up a little bit here, the dot. Okay, now, there are little dots that are inside. The other thing I like to do is try and catch my vinyl on, on more vinyl, because it tends to stick there. I'm gonna get the centers of my S out, and it doesn't always work, because the other day I ended up with vinyl all over my fingers and couldn't get them off. Okay. And the S looks like it kind of came out by itself, so that's good. And then we go into the L. And I'm going to pick this up and look at it. Okay, I can tell that the L did not cut out in the center, so we're just gonna move on here to the Y. 
and A, and there's a slight sliver in here. So onto this, I'm gonna grab a corner. Now, don't forget to keep a pair of scissors handy too, because as you start pulling up your vinyl, you do wanna make sure that you're cutting it off as you released, as you have released uh, the vinyl from the backing paper because you don't want that falling back in on itself. And just slowly pull. Okay, I can tell here I need to pull up right here maybe. See if I can get that to release. If not, Grab the scissors. Now, everything is coming up okay, so I'm just gonna very carefully keep going. Now, if you see anything like how this pea popped up, just lay it back down. Come on, there goes the F. Okay. Very slowly. Just take your time. Oop. And we lost part of our word here. But I'm going to stop right here. Cut off. Now, a lesson that I've learned, don't wad this up and throw it away right now. You may end up realizing that you've lost something, that it is still connected to the vinyl. And if we kind of just lay it out, I like it. I put it on the edge of my desk, then you'll be able to find it. I learned that the hard way. And if you get frustrated in one area, just leave it alone and come back to it later. Okay, I'm gonna try and lay this word down. Hopefully I don't make any more big, big mistakes here.
just a little more to go. <clears throat> or so I think. <clears throat> 